Hey guys, it's Tuesday the 27th. Meant to do a lot more today, but it didn't end up happening. But I went over to Steve and Donna's Happy Heart Treasures, bought four boxes of glass from them, and we have a bunch of stuff to list now. And I also did a Facebook Marketplace buy, and I got a bunch of this vintage dollhouse furniture, which I saw a really promising comp online. And she also threw in some other miscellaneous pieces, which I want to list right now. So I'm just showing you guys that. I do have more stuff I picked up today, but I'm not going to be showing you guys that in this clip. But I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up, y'all? It is Wednesday. We got to pull some orders. It's 2.34 in the afternoon, and I still haven't pulled orders and packed. So I'm going to show you guys what sold. And then I also have some other stuff from yesterday that I picked up that I still need to show you guys. First off, we've got two of these going to the same buyer for a total of... 48 plus shipping they requested bundled shipping so i'll be sending them a refund on shipping but they bought these two the scorpio barbie and this 40th anniversary this came from the barbie buy which we are in the profit money wise and these were a couple of the more expensive ones i have left i don't have very many left a lot of them are like the very basic like winter wonderland barbie or winter velvet barbie and there's a couple others that really aren't worth a lot on my shelf here but we got these two going out had to go to the laundry room to pull these, but we have a set of eight of these Culver glasses sold for 64 plus shipping. These are gonna be fun to pack. Next, we've got this set of strawberry ramekins. They are made by Sheffield and they're called Strawberries and Cream, 15 plus ship. I was so excited to sell this, 75 plus shipping. We got this at Goodwill for around $4. It's some sort of card game. Next, we sold this Barstool Sports hat. We've had it for a while. I had two of them. Sold one a while back, but $9.12 plus shipping on that. Took an offer on this to get it off of my ceramic shelf, but $8 plus shipping is just a little ceramic donkey uh, made by whales in Japan. If you guys remember, I made a short about these. Found a bunch of these little pewter animals at Goodwill. There was all kinds of pewter in this bag. It was pretty stuffed but 23 plus shipping. These are all from Franklin Mint. It's from the Woodland Animals Collection. Next, we sold this Chevy Impala owner's manual for seven plus ship. Another thing sold from the glass shelf, $6.30. This is just a little Vaseline Sunday dish. But yeah, that's all we got. I've got a huge mess here on my floor. I listed a bunch last night and I just don't have room right now, but I am trying to get as much money as possible because we've got a trip coming up next is Sick New World in Vegas. Um, this morning, I actually bought tickets. They did a pre-show, my favorite band right now, Bring Me the Horizon. They're doing a pre-show the day before the festival in Vegas. I scored tickets to that this morning, but... That's another cost because, of course, they were 99 for the tickets. And of course, after fees, you pay about $145 a ticket. So that's an unexpected expense and we might be extending our trip. I gotta talk to my husband tonight when he gets home, but... So I'm trying to grind for that money right now just so that way. Vegas is kind of expensive, especially during this festival. There's like, I think they said last year, like 60,000 people traveled to Vegas for this event or 60,000 people were there. So of course people are gonna charge more for hotel rooms, for the Airbnbs, for the food, because all this stuff is happening and they need to capitalize on it, you know? Anyways, we went to Goodwill yesterday. I saw these for $3.99, but I don't know if you can see that. You see that right there? It says Murano in there. Same with this one. You had to like angle it weird, but you could actually read. There is a Murano sticker under the Goodwill sticker. We got these. What is this, guys? <clears throat> I put it in a Discord group. Oh, gosh. Sorry. It looked like I just flipped off the camera. What is this? Polar bear? Elephant? I heard a whale. You know, I can kind of see that. A whale with, like, water right here. Kind of. Obviously, this is a penguin, but maybe a polar bear. Maybe it's some sort of, like, Arctic collection. Anyways, I haven't really found anything with a Murano sticker like that, and it was four bucks, so I took a gamble. Couldn't find a lot on these, but I know Murano is a good name. Let's see, we also went to Goodwill. I found this as I was going through the checkout. They charge eight bucks. I was like, oh cool, a Monster High pillow. Like, that should sell. But as I was checking out, I also noticed, like, it's like stretched right here. 
not a great sell through rate, but I thought this would be a good item. But it is a little damaged. We should be able to make our money back at least. Uh, but not a great pickup. It is cool though. It is cool. I got this Scentsy Warmer. Seems to have a good sell through rate. It didn't have a bulb, so I couldn't test it. I'm assuming it works, but we did pay eight bucks on that one. But it comes with the box, which is great. Also, I found this lamp there. And I thought this was so cool. I tested it at an outlet, eight bucks. I thought this was cool. It is glass, kind of like a milk glass, but not quite, but it does work. I just picked it up. I see another one on Etsy for, I forgot how much, but I took a gamble on this. I don't know, lamps are cool. I like selling lamps. I think that is all we got yesterday that I didn't show you guys. But anyways, I'm gonna get to work guys. I also have an onboarding session on Knickknack so I can start live selling on there soon. So I have that coming up, but I wanna get some stuff packed up, clean up my office a bit, cause tomorrow there is an estate sale, but I also have an appointment an hour after the estate sale starts. So I need to get there early, try to get through the whole house in like around 45 minutes. Unless they let me in early, you never know. Some companies do. So I have a bunch planned tomorrow. This is one of the sales that let me record with a GoPro. So you guys will probably see that footage at some point. And I also need to edit a bunch from Planes to Profit. So I'll let you guys go. See ya tomorrow. So I bought a crap ton of stuff <laughs> over the past couple days. I've been putting off showing you guys. I'm gonna finally go through everything. So be ready for me to ramble a bunch and show you stuff I've picked up today and yesterday. Also, oh my gosh, today. I'm gonna talk about today for a moment. I got up. I didn't really feel like going to estate sales. There was three. There's one at 8 a.m. and there was two at noon. Or sorry, one at 9 a.m. I got the one at 9 a.m. just shortly after it started. Found some great stuff. Waited around town. Went and did some stuff. Waited for the one at noon. I get to the one at noon. The one that's supposed to start at noon a little early. I got there at like 11:30. I'm just sitting there in my car. I was FaceTiming my friend that I hadn't talked to in a while. All of a sudden, this truck comes by and sideswipes my car awesome and oh my gosh it was a whole situation i got his insurance info i'm fine my car is just a little scratched on the front uh got a hold of insurance they're gonna take care of it because it wasn't my fault at all i was just parked there in my car and this dude just sideswipes me like i was it wasn't it wasn't that hard to not hit me but uh, anyways i was pretty upset my car's my baby i love my car and uh now i'm a little mad that they damaged it but we're gonna take it care of Got an estimate done right after it happened. Like, I had nothing else to do. Actually, I had one other estate sale. But in, in between that, I also called insurance. I called the police. Made sure everything was all good. Got an estimate. And it comes out to, like, $1,550. $1, so, yeah. Expensive mistake. But, um, for that guy. And he tried to, like, make me settle it outside of insurance. Like, he started spam calling me. I was in the checkout line. He was also parking for this estate sale. We both go in and shop. And... He didn't bring money, I guess. And so he tried to pay them with a check and the ladies wouldn't let him. So he left to go get money. And while he did that, he was spam calling my phone and texting me. And he left me a voicemail that basically is like, hey, I'm the one that hit your car. Uh, call me first. I don't want you to send it into my insurance, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, that's weird. And he's trying to pay me off. But I'm like, dude, you didn't even bring money to the estate sale. Like, you, you didn't bring money to the estate sale, but you want to pay me off on this damage you did to my car anyways i didn't answer insurance claim is filed i'm not gonna do that but <sighs> anyways we found something at that sale that might make it worth it i did actually find a bunch of stuff at that sale which is really exciting but it just really sucks to have to deal with this but anyways i i could probably show you guys the damage later um my car is in the garage right there but it's like hard to navigate. I've got a bunch of boxes and stuff. But anyways, we're gonna get into everything I found today and yesterday. So yesterday, during an estate sale, I found this for 10 bucks. I was just like one of the first people in the door. I got it on GoPro, so eventually it'll come up. I was like, ooh, this looks like it glows. And it does, but it glows orange. Isn't that sick? It's like amberina or cadmium. I'm thinking it's more cadmium, but it does have a really deep orange glow like amberina anyways we paid 10 bucks for that it is marked with a sticker right there i don't know much about it i looked it up real quick i'm like you know what it glows i'm gonna pick it up i've sold two of these before they're called jeanette glass uh the other two i had was actually a pair of depression pink ones this is more of like a carnival glass paid eight bucks very cute
I got Garfield, which I'm pretty sure I've sold this one before for two bucks. This might go on dibbed it. And I also picked up this really cool velvet cat bank. It's still got the bottom. Some of these um, vintage piggy banks or banks, you don't usually find the cap on the bottom. I feel like they're missing a lot, but this one's really cool. I saw some other colors that sold and it's just a neat little item. For 18 bucks, I got this set of this kitschy little snail teapot and it also comes with one shaker i just realized this top is broken which is unfortunate but it is some sort of a shaker but we'll probably sell the two as a set also scored a furby if it works it's worth quite a bit but five dollars on this one need to test it picked up these for personal use when i was doing embroidery i had one of these and i actually broke it so i got these for 50 cents i also found this spidel watch Actually, I just realized the clasp at the bottom is broken. Oh, wait, no, it's like that. But for five bucks, someone has this listed on eBay for like 40 bucks. So I grabbed that and it had a bunch of watchers. I also found this really cool Disneyland. It's a small world little music box. Very neat. And it works. Yesterday, I went back to that sale. Remember that sale where I found, I don't think I've even put up the GoPro footage from it, but by now I'm hoping you guys will have seen it. But I found those $300 opalescent glasses and a bunch of stuff. Oh, I also found this sea urchin light. Well, I have one, the one I bought. They had another one. So it's just like the other one. I'm probably going to keep it or gift it. And I also found another one of these, which I found two of those previously at that house in the box. This I only paid like a couple bucks for, but they do seem to be in demand. It's just finding the right buyer, but these are very cool. I was so sad about this. I brought this home, these home last night. They're very cute and they had some value, this one. And then I brought this one home. They were both in great shape. But as I was going to set it down, I clanked it against another piece or I forgot what it was. I clanked it against something and it broke. So we've got it chipped. It's I was so sad. I love these. But I may still try to sell them as a set because you can still set them on the shelf like this and anyways. I'll see. I might just list them as the two, and if for some reason someone's interested and doesn't want the other one, I don't know what I'm going to do. If you guys have suggestions, let me know, but I still think I'll list the two of them. Just note that there is damage. I went to a sale today that was half price. I had been there before, but it's been a while. It was this really cool sale with a bunch of oddities and weird stuff. I got that cobalt blue alcohol bottle, if you guys remember I sold it. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else I got there. Just a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, the little holy water thing and that little, like, metal shadow box thing I sold. If you guys, guys have been watching for a while, you'll know. But anyways, I found this. They originally had it at 100 bucks. It was half price day, like I said. So, we paid 50 I tried to talk them down to 40 They wouldn't. But this really cool vintage, like, laxative display, they're still in there. These tins still have these chocolate flavored laxatives in them very cool piece all i can find this is really hard to research i try to look up like what time period this is from but just these tins on ebay one sold for 10 bucks and alone one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's at least 10 in here i need to actually figure out how many exactly are in here but that alone is 100 bucks, but this is a really cool display. I know some collector is going to love this. I also found this yesterday. I thought it was so cool, and I only paid, I believe it was 15? Yeah, 15 bucks. It is a vintage coffee uranium glass. It does glow. Do I have my pen on me? Yep. It glows beautifully. It needs to be washed, but a very cool jar. If you guys ever find these, people buy them all the time. These canister sets. Got a lot of stuff to work on listing. I haven't listed in a minute. Okay, and at the sale where I got sideswiped, found a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna just start showing you, but most of this past this point is stuff from that sale. 10 bucks for this. It is marked on the bottom G O D I N G E R silver 1991. I saw someone had it listed on eBay for like 60, but it also comes with a bunch of jewelry. I think it's just a bunch of like cheap beads. But it's got velvet on the inside. Very cool little piece here. Also at the sale where I got sideswiped at, I got this pair of candlesticks. I believe I paid five a piece, but I think these are Lucite. But regardless, these are awesome. Next for five bucks, I did get this cool little crimped vase. I have one right now that's a lot like this, but it's multicolored. But this kind of reminds me of those, um, what brand were they? 
some purple candlesticks I sold a while back for like $120. This reminds me of that. So it could be the same brand. I don't know. I just saw it and picked it up. I didn't really look it up. Elephant bookend, but it's like a foldable bookend for five bucks. It was cool. Just grabbed it. Unfortunately, they had a lot of bookends there that were just single bookends, not pairs, which it's kind of weird. I also found this. They charged me a couple bucks, but it's made in Mexico. This really cool cube art glass little tea light holder for the super amazing item I found at the sale, which when I found it, I automatically was like, okay, I'm like still glad I came here, even though my car got damaged. Got this big old chonker for $25, guys. Look at that. Oh, there's spider webs on it. Oh God. Hold on. There's spider webs all over it. I hope there's not a spider because I will freak out. But we got that huge Christmas tree. It's probably like two and a half feet tall for 25 bucks, guys. I might try to sell that locally. Yesterday, I totally forgot. There's so much that's been going on, guys. It's crazy. Yesterday, I was at an estate sale. And remember that guy that I did some glass buys from? He was there. Well, I had gone in the morning and then I had an appointment. So I had about 45 minutes to pick as much as I could. And I rushed through the whole house. Rushed through the whole house. Got out. Went to my appointment. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back. And then Steve and Donna were there at Happy Art Treasures. So they were there. I got to talk with them a little bit. And then the glass guy was there. And he's like, hey, you should stop by again. I've got more stuff. And I went. And we spent $350. Here is everything I got from him. Also, I just noticed in the box, um, it comes with the stand and the star for this giant Christmas tree. So besides a few of the little lights missing, it's in complete condition as far as it works I don't know we'll test it out that sale where I got the laxatives thing <laughs> I also got this for six bucks very cool I forgot what brand it was but they make a bunch of trinket boxes that are like higher end so we grabbed that for six actually it was three bucks and then we also got this it's not really worth it but I thought it was so cute but it's actually a Christian Dior perfume bottle and it was called poison it is empty but it's still a really cute little like blown glass type bottle, only paid like $2.50 for it. Really quickly, here's everything that I got from the glass guy. Viking glass cat, carnival glass nesting rooster, Fenton glowing custard glass, swan duck, I think it's a swan, hat trinket box, although I might keep it. This is just weird and I love it. Two of them, they are ore force. They're not worth a ton, but it's still a cool glass piece. I'm trying to get to focus. Or fours. I grabbed this. It was more of an enjoyment buy. It is Westmoreland. Also with that cat stuff, I also got this cute little, it's almost like a cat urn. Very cute by Jardina. Cats galore. Didn't even look it up. He gave me the lot of cat things. So there was three things, 10 bucks a piece. So for that little trinket thing, I paid 10. This I paid 10. And this one I paid 10 as well. But look at that. That is so cool. Bluebird of happiness. Here's one. Got a set of six of these little glasses. I saw them last time I did the glass buy. Bird, it does say made in Sweden. Uh, uranium glass. I want to call these like Sunday dishes or sherbet dishes. He also threw in these very cool little plates. I love them. Carved like bear figurine. But wait, there's more. We did get a set of like five of these. I did pay up, but they are Syracuse and they are very like mid-century modern. There's a few sets, but none exactly like this online that I could tell. Look at that. Look at that little bird. <laughs> really cute little piece here. Jade compote. Got a hand-painted little Fenton piece here. It is signed. A whole lot of little people, and I picked up some of these at Plains to Profit. He wanted 15 for this whole thing. I think we'll make our money back, because some of these you could get, you know, a few bucks a piece for. I've sold just the car before. Yesterday was my first day of zero sales in months. Got this cool little paperweight. It is marked uh, RHAG. They make a lot of weird shaped paperweights like hearts and stars and all kinds of stuff. Custard, Fenton basket with the sticker and the tag. It does glow beautifully. No damage as far as I could tell. This really cool uh, vase. I don't remember what brand it is. Fenton compote, slide glass basket. I didn't really want to get this, but... I grabbed it kind of reminds me of toothpaste <laughs> anyways got a couple more of these little birds they were with that one that looked uh similar that was marked like sweden or something like that but i might put these with it unless i don't know we'll see and there's also these two cats they're very murano style look at that 
beautiful, beautiful pieces. Another Bluebird of Happiness. Another Bluebird of Happiness. Lalique. That's what those pieces were. So this is the big one. He did charge me 40 for this one, but it is like a lady holding a goat. Another Bluebird of Happiness. This I got because it glows <laughs> very well, actually. Uh, I didn't even look it up. He wanted like five bucks, so I, I just grabbed it. This is one of the prettiest paperweights I have ever seen. Look at that. It's got some beautiful sparkle in there. It is signed, so if anyone knows, but it was really hard to read. I think he wanted like, I forgot what he charged me, like 20 bucks, and that's all we got.